greetings and salutations, gentle folk. This here's the story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky-like. A girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon, they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south, nor east from west, neither. Then they heard a low, moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all a trim. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to bawl like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around a tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's prize jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stop up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer. And through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Pochard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hands. His eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forests. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods in case the English lurk there still.